Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Uh, this is going to be a real quick tech video here to show you how to install the uh, the map or manifold air pressure sensor on this is a Sportsman 700 twin EFI uh, the same sensor I know is used on a lot of Polaris EFI systems and like ski I think and, and lots of other fitments so obviously this is not going to cover the watercraft or other stuff but it's a manifold pressure sensor which means it's installed in the the basically the air intake uh, to the throttle body. So, you know, if you can find that on your vehicle, the install should be, you know, pr pretty similar. There's not much to it. It's one connector and one bolt. So um, anyways, on the Sportsman 700 EFI, this is a 2004. Um, it's right here on the, uh, the air intake. So um, to get to it, it's pretty easy. You just need to remove the snorkel here on the air box, which is four Phillips screws. So I've already loosened that, get it out of the way. I'll move the foam here. Okay, so you can clearly see it mounted right here on the air uh, pipe. And it's a 10 mil bolt that mounts it in place. And then you can just wiggle it around. It'll come out, just has an O-ring on it that kind of seals it. You can lift, usually with your thumb. Hopefully I can do this, there we go. Uh, you can lift the locking tab on the connector and pull it right out. So here's our old one. Get out of the way. Here's our new one. Installs just like the old one. Press into place in the connector. Put it back in the hole. Push down until the O-ring seals. And you'll tighten your mounting bolt back up. And on this guy, put the foam back in place. Put our snorkel back in place. We'll mount all the bolts back down and that's it. Really simple, like a five minute install. They do go bad. They can cause some weird things with your fuel injection system. Um, you can usually get a code on the uh, your speedometer unit that'll tell you that it's a bad sensor, but they can cause lots of weird problems. So it's a really easy and cheap uh, part to replace to see if it solves your problem. So anyways, hope that helps. Um, it's uh, really simple and you can do it at home in no time. So uh, check out armstator.com for any uh, information and tips. Thanks.